Hey YouTube, you're watching Brad's at Blood Help, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your eye device with Snowbreeze 2.2 for iOS 4.2.1. So this jailbreak works for every single iDevice running on 4.2.1 and um, if you're on a Macintosh, the Snowbreeze 2.2 does not work. But what I want you to go, go ahead and download is Pawnage Tool 4.2. Now this does work for every single iDevice running on 4.2.1 except for the iPod Touch second generation. So if you have an iPod Touch second generation and you only have a Mac, what I want you to do is check out my video on how to jailbreak with Green Poison. Now that is untethered and it works for 4.2.1. So check that out. I'll have a link in the, in the annotation on the screen right now so you can check that out. So what I first want you to do is I want you to go ahead and download the firmware. You are going to be needing this for Snowbreeze. So you can just open up your web browser and go to this website, felixbruns.de, and you can just go to this little drop down menu here and you can select your firmware. And so I'm on an iPod Touch uh, fourth generation running on 4.2.1, so I will select my firmware and I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to bother. Next I want you to go and download the Snowbreeze 2.2. I have a upload here and you can just go ahead and download this. Since I already have that I will not bother with that either. And so we can minimize this. And um, once you've extracted your Snowbreeze on your desktop or wherever you choose, you will have this right here. What I first want you to do is, before you open it up, I want you to right click and go to Properties. Next I want you to go to Compatibility. And you're going to want to run this as XP Service Pack 2. So right here and you're gonna run this as administrator so this is only if you're on Vista and or sorry if you're on Vista or Windows 7 so you can just click OK and then you can go ahead and run it okay guys so once it is loaded up you'll be brought up with this message here and um, sorry I've had to switch to my camera my screen ca screen capturing device was just lagging too much when I was trying to um, run Snowbreeze. I'm really wanting a new computer. So anyways, uh, enough with that. Um, get on with this. And uh, so you can just click OK here and close the credits. And then you can just click the blue arrow right here. And you're brought up with this IPSW selection. So you can choose your firmware that you downloaded earlier. And there's my iPod Touch 4th generation 4.2.1 and now once it is done identifying it you can click the blue arrow again and then you brought up with these two messages or um, options rather and uh, you can choose simple mode or expert mode and simple mode is just if you want a simple jailbreak nothing special and an expert mode is if you want to customize it a bit more so I'm gonna use expert mode and I'm gonna click the blue arrow again and then you're gonna be brought up with yet another menu options and this is where you um, customize your firmware and so I'm just gonna start with general and um, let's go through this on the left you have this box here and it has enable background wallpaper enable battery percentage and enable native multitasking now background wallpaper and native multitasking only apply to two devices the iPod touch second generation and the iPhone 3G since they do not offer background wallpaper or native multitasking so I'm gonna leave that alone but I am gonna apply battery percentage since since my iPod Touch fourth generation does not have that. So select that. And then on the right, uh, you have another message box, or options box rather, and it has activate the iPhone or hacktivate. I'm not going to touch that since I do not have an iPhone and I am not skilled in that area. So don't even ask me about that stuff. And uh, you also have install animated boot logos, that is checked off, and install SSH, and that is where you can go in and uh, mess around with the raw files on your iDevice, and I'm going to set that on. And then on the bottom here you have root partition size, leave it at 820 megabytes, do not touch that unless you know what you're doing. So again, press the blue arrow, and this is where you can install custom city applications. So if you have a deb file or two, you can just install that here by choosing browse. And for the sake of this video, I'm not going to touch that. And you also have uh, sources you can add here. 
and um, so press the blue arrow once you're done with that and then you can go ahead and build your IPSW so select this and press the blue arrow and then you're brought up with this you can play Pac-Man or you can just have the spinner Pac-Man doesn't work for me so I'm just gonna leave that alone and I'll come back to you once my IPSW has been uh, created okay so now that my IPSW has been created you will get this little um, done check mark thing and then you'll also have instructions on how to enter DFU mode so you can just click that and then it'll bring you through the instructions and everything but I'm not going to do that because I just don't feel like doing that and uh, then you can close out of this and once you have entered DFU mode on your iDevice you'll, your iTunes should pop up this is good but it'll say recovery mode just ignore that and then what I want you to do is press shift and click restore on here so shift and then click restore and uh, then you're going to browse for your IPSW that you created and it should say Snowbreeze iPod Touch 4, 4.2.1 or Snowbreeze iPad or iPhone whatever you have it should at least say Snowbreeze on the IPSW so you can click that and then you can click open I'm not going to do that because I don't want to um, <coughs> lose my current jailbreak but all you need to do is just wait for that to restore and then you should have City on it there's nothing else special that you need to do after that if um, that's just all you need to do you'll have City on your iPod or, or iPhone whatever you have, your iDevice, and you should be good to go. And um, if you are near the end of the restore and it all of a sudden um, just quits, it, it stops, um, it puts it into recovery mode, um, it's done what Apple, wa it's like Apple tries to stop you from um, installing custom firmwares. So um, what I want you to do is if you're stuck in uh, recovery mode and you can't get out, I have a link in the description below on how to kick your iDevice out of recovery mode and uh, the guy that does that is iCrackYourIDevice so um, you can check his video out and once you've kicked your device out of recovery mode you can go ahead and try this again and if it still works then uh, I recommend you go try out Green Poison if you just run a jailbreak so so I hope you've liked this tutorial on how to jailbreak your iDevice with Snowbreeze 2.2 for Windows so I will catch you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.